Hey guys, welcome to our second video about weather. Today we're going to be talking about condensation and precipitation. Last time we talked about the different layers of the atmosphere. Today we're going to be focusing on just the troposphere, which is the layer of the atmosphere closest to Earth where the weather happens. One process that's very important to weather is something you've heard of before, and that is the water cycle. The water cycle is the way that water on Earth travels around the Earth. So you, hopefully you know that the water on Earth is never destroyed um, or created. It just is cycling around. And there are a lot of different ways that water can travel, as you can see in this diagram. Um, most of the water on Earth is in the oceans, which you'll learn about next year in eighth grade. But it travels through evaporation up into the atmosphere and then through precipitation back down onto the earth. And then there are lots of other ways that you see on here, but they're um, extra. So today we're just going to focus on condensation, which is when water in the atmosphere cools to form different cloud types, and precipitation, which is when water falls in a variety of different ways back to earth. All right, when water goes through the process of condensation, it cools and leaves the air in forms of tiny water droplets that create clouds. And there are many different types of clouds which you have probably noticed if you have ever looked up in the sky. So one that we see a lot is cumulus. These are the puffy white cotton ball clouds. They're pretty low lying to earth um, and they don't produce any precipitation. Stratus are low lying clouds that um, they're kind of like fog, they're a thick blanket. If you look at this one over here, you can see it's stratocumulus. And that just means it's a combination of stratus and cumulus. So low-lying, long, puffy clouds. Cloud types can be combined. Up here is cirrus clouds. These are thin, wispy clouds that some people call them hair-like. They're actually made of ice crystals because they're so high up in the sky. Then here you can see another combination, cirrocumulus. Then here is the giant cumulonimbus cloud. It's really tall, um, reaches very high up in the troposphere. Anytime you see this root nimbus, it means that it produces precipitation. Cumulonimbus are the big thunderstorm clouds. Another important root is alto. This means that they're mid-level clouds. So cirrus are the tallest. Stratus are the lowest, and Alto is in the middle. Here's just another image of cloud types, so you can see something a little different. Um, the Nimbo Stratus was not on the other cloud. It is the cloud that produces steady rain. So when we have a whole day of rain, those are usually Nimbo Stratus clouds. And again, you can see there's Nimbo or Nimbus, which means rain forming. All right, so when you have a nimbus cloud or a cloud that's full of so much water that it's ready to burst, you get precipitation. And there are many different types of precipitation. Um, the first one, which we see the most, is rain. And rain actually starts out as frozen, starts out as snow, you might know that, um, and melts as it reaches the ground. So. The warmth of the air that's close to Earth is really important in deciding which type of precipitation falls. As we get closer to winter, we might start to see other sorts of precipitation, which could be freezing rain or sleet or even snow. So everything starts out as snow up here at the top. The warm air causes melting. If the rain doesn't refreeze until it hits the ground, it's freezing rain. If the rain refreezes, so here's cold air, refreezes before it hits the ground, that's sleet. And if it never melts, then it's snow. Here are a couple other precipitation types that are less common and that weren't on the other picture. One of them is this grapple, which is similar to hail, but is smaller. Um, here's hail. So that's precipitation, that's an ice ball. Sometimes it happens during thunderstorms. Um, drizzle, which is very light rain. 
and then um, freezing fog, which is a pretty rare event. All right, that's it for today. Hope you learned something new about condensation and precipitation. Don't forget to do your discussion post, and I'll see you next week. Bye.